Hearing from many of you about growing frustrations over drivers cutting through neighborhoods, sometimes speeding and putting people walking and on bikes in danger. So I did a story last night about traffic apps that suggest some of these shortcuts through Portland communities. You can see that story right now at coin.com. But today, our Lisa Balick is watching out for you about what to do if you're having problems. Construction is forcing a lot of detours. Now neighbors are doing what they can to try and keep people aware of what's going on and to slow them down. We took a look at several locations where viewers let Coin6 know they see problems. One of them here at Southwest 45th in Carson. It's where a neighbor crossing 45th was killed a couple of years ago in a hit and run crash. Neighbors tell me the painted crosswalk and signs were just put in a few months ago, but they're still seeing drivers going well above the 25 mile an hour speed limit. We did too. I asked the Bureau of Transportation if more could be done, but there's a long line for requests. So we get 4,000 con concerns a year. They'll call in with a traffic safety problem. And keep in mind the Portland Police Bureau says it's down to one full time traffic officer due to shortages. We also checked in at some other intersections you told us about, although some are under state jurisdiction. I found out the best thing you can do if you have concerns is to band together with your neighbors and send a letter to Peabot about your traffic concerns. In Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.